allowing me to speak today. Um, Who's with you, Daniel? This is my daughter, Kula Ilai. I want to share with you guys the catastrophic problem with our water is that it's going to people like Monsanto instead of to the Opelu. You smell that? It's the last of the Opelu on the Waianae coast because there is not a single river that runs 12 months of year to the ocean. For seven years, I've been trying to get land to farm Kalu. These are the foods that sustain our family. That somehow someone can claim to get millions of gallons of water for non-human consumption food, it infuriates me that you would even consider it for a second. Monsanto never asked the people if we wanted them here at all. Let it be clear that the fish and the taro of Hawaii tell Monsanto to go home. There's not enough water here, move. Because the water is for the fish and for the kalo and for the people. You talk about sustainability. We produce four million pounds of kalo a year. It is our staple, it is our starch. We need at least 365 million pounds to feed each and every one of us one pound a day. My family of five consumes 300 pounds of poi a month. If each family in Hawaii were to consume the same amount, there would be no water for Monsanto. And we would be sustainable. I'm here to convey to you that the real voices that you're not hearing are the ones who can't afford the $2 an hour parking and the gas to drive here because right at this moment, they're at work, struggling to buy what? Rice and high fructose corn syrup. We demand that you do the right thing and set the precedent and let these folks know that our water is for food and for people. Thank you. Any questions for Dan? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, in the event that uh, the uh, request is awarded, then if there is a, uh, a problem with uh, the irrigation system, then the priority for that uh, emergency would be that Monsanto would get water to be able to continue, but everyone else farming food would not. Do you feel that that is a equitable, uh, an equitable um, vision? I can't even see how that would be a part of the vision. You know, if 85% of what we currently consume equates to $3.1 billion, farming and feeding ourselves is the single largest growth of industry that we have in front of us, which needs massive amounts of labor. If we're farming and producing our own food, we will in turn manage our resources much better. They are using this simply as an export which does not apply to a single one of us. In fact, Hawaii is contributing the single largest contributor to chemical farming in the world through our means of exporting corn seed. Now we need to stand up for this. Our water is not meant for other countries to grow GMO corn. This is serious. Your decision today in part will send a clear message that they're not welcome here and that our water is for food. Thank you. Okay, one more question. Are you farming kalo, uh, kalolohi? We kalo? currently have, um, we don't have a lease. We have a small plot in Kahalu'u, which we're restoring some ancient patches. Uh, we are in discussion with many entities, but the reality is to farm taro, you have to live on the aina. And they refuse to let you live and farm. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Live your dream. Oh. <clears throat> Come on, everybody, scream, coo, hey, coo, hey. It's the way that I walk, coo, hey. It's the way that I talk, coo, hey. It's the way that I flow, coo, hey. Come on, hey. take control, come down. Work for all, yes, we stand, coo, hey. From this, so I am, man, yes, I am. I got much love for this land, but I got no love for you, Uncle Sam. You be robbing people for their loot and their cash. I got my mind on the honor and the honor on my 
Phenomenal.